All right, I'm running a little test here to uh, prove that it's not that the fact that two metal in a in water or whatever water pretty much uh, causes a galvanic reaction to where the metals corrode. It, the reason why the metals corrode is because of the water, not because of the two dissimilar metals. Uh, I'm doing a simple test here. I have magnesium ribbon right there, and it's in distilled water. Very important, distilled water. It's not supposed to be corrosive to anything. But I am proving the fact that it's the water that does the corroding. So if you stay away from water, you can have a battery that will last for a really long time. As you can see, there's little bubbles forming on the metal itself. That's the, uh, I believe it's hydrogen or hydroxide forming on, the, on it. And that's because the metal is decomposing. Water is the universal solvent, and this is what's happening. I don't know if you guys can see. There is, there's the magnesium, and it is corroding, and there's no other metal in there except for the magnesium, and that's just to the water. So this is proving that it's the water that does the corroding, and nothing else. So stay away from water. Let's see if I can get it out. Right here's the metal. You can see. There's actually the actually it's actually the water and the oxygen because you can see that black line right there. The black line right there. And that's where the oxygen was. The metal is corroding. That black is corrosion. This is corroding away. As you can see. So it's the water that does the corroding. Nothing else. So stay away from water and the metals won't corrode. I'm also doing the same experiment on aluminum foil, but the aluminum foil will take a little bit longer. But the magnesium is corroding, like, just like any metal exposed to water. It will corrode, so stay away from metal. Or I mean stay away from water. And you'll have a cell that will last for a long time.